it tells you something, right? That they, they offer 30,000 more. Let's just talk about that, right? They offer 30,000 more than you yeah. would get here. Yeah, right. That's a lot of money. Like that's that. a lot of money. Why do you think they offer $30,000 more? I assume that they valued my work or would value my hard work. Mm, but no, that's one way to look at it. I want you to pick a number between one and seven. I'll do two. Uh, the suggestion is skeleton. Ooh, okay. Skeleton. Yeah, I mean, I'm certainly interested in the job, and I don't want you to think anything otherwise. But, um, you know, part of me as an analyst, in my experience, is that I've always used computer. Um, I can try to track stuff, you know, manually, but this is a whole new experience for me. I don't, I'm just a little nervous. I'm a little concerned. Well, I mean, if you, uh, my thought has always been if you can't do it with a pen and paper, you can't really do it. No, I know. I, I know. My, my grandfather tells me the same thing. He, he was a project manager uh, at, at, at Heinz, the ketchup company, for years. And he tra all the data was all pen and paper. And like I show him my Excel files and I show him my Microsoft Sheets or it's a crunch. Google Sheets. It is a crutch. And he picks on me relentlessly. I cannot go to my grandparents' house without him just roasting me over an open fire over my yeah. use of Google Sheets. Yeah. Well, you, I mean, uh, that's that's uh, really where we stand. I mean, if, if you do want to take it, it's very important to me. Um, I mean, the other part of it is I feel like handwritten notes, handwritten ledgers, um, yeah. I can really know that you actually did the work, right? Sure. So yeah. if you, you know, so I would, I would send you like each week we have, we have two sets of books basically. Okay. Okay. And each week um, I send you one of those books and you send me one of those books. So right. I, okay. So we always have, we always have one copy of the books. Yeah. Mine is a, mine could be a week or two out of date. Right. Uh, yeah. That's a um, but, but you, for you, what you have to do is you actually have to have a third book. So you keep the sort of master ledger, right? Okay. Yeah. And every and then you copy from the master ledger to the one of the ledgers that we pass back and forth that we send via oh, messenger, right? Oh, okay. And so I can, you know, so on Friday, you yeah. send me a ledger back. Okay. I send you the ledger I've had all week to you. Monday yeah. morning, by Monday morning, it's delivered. I know everything that happened in the previous week. You see yeah. that? Okay, and then I will send you an additional note that says, you know, are, did I do a good job? And you check yes or check no or check maybe. Uh, and then you send it through Denise, uh, who Denise knows that he, you and I are good friends, or would be good friends. And then I'll know if I did a good job or not. And we can't get caught by the director, Mary. Right. Yeah, because right. then- If then she intercepts any of these messages back and forth, Right. You will read them to everyone at the all hands. Oh. And then everyone will hear the private words that I've sent you or you've sent me. Right. Yeah. And that'd be so embarrassing. I, I wouldn't be able to look myself in the face. All right. Let's talk benefits. Okay. Um, let's talk benefits. Cause I'm, I'm interested in this job and I think that I could be a potential match. Um, but right now I'm getting offered, um, about 30k more uh, mm -hmm. at your competitor, um, Burger King. And mm -hmm. the problem here is that they will give me a computer and I get to keep the computer. So mm -hmm. you know, talk to me a little bit about what you like uh, working for, uh, for, for Applebee's and, and why I, I should make that change. I see. Well, I mean, it tells you something, right? That they, they offer 30,000 more. Let's just talk about that, right? They offer 30,000 more than you yeah. would get here, yeah, right? That's a lot of money. A lot that's of a lot of money. Why do you think they offer $30,000 more? I assume that they valued my work or would value my hard work. Mm, but no, That's one way to look at it. Um, it may be that they expect a lot more out of you for that 30,000, if you think about it. You know what I'm saying? Maybe expect too much from me? Uh, yeah, uh, maybe they're going to expect you to work uh, the evenings or or weekends. Maybe maybe they're going to expect you to forgo uh, holidays. I don't know. 
I mean, that's a ex- lot of other, if I were paying you that much money, <laughs> boy, yeah. I would have some expectations for you. <laughs> that's you know? true. I mean, I I'm just big... want you to do your work and get it done. That's all I want. I don't, yeah. I don't have huge expectations for you. Okay. So, so it seems like, um, I, I'm the kind of guy who thrives under lack of accountability. Um, mm-hmm. And so what I'm hearing from you is that, you know, maybe with that extra 30K means I'm going to have to do a little bit more work. And the last thing I want to be doing right now uh, in the middle of the holiday season is more work. That's a, that's a good way to think of it. Yeah. Uh, I'm assuming you have a, some sort of home office. Yeah. Yeah. I got several actually. Mm-hmm. 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 I've converted then, each of my house, each of my rooms here uh, to be different home offices. I see. The, well, that's, the that's only thing right. I we 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 turned the kitchen into a home office, the, the master bedroom into a home office. The only thing we kept though was uh, yeah, the laundry room. It's I don't I don't particularly work well around laundry. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, look, um, there's a couple of things to let you know. One is that I will this will be the last time that we speak via video conferencing sure because i won't have okay to do uh, it. you'll you'll either get handwritten notes from me or um, yeah. i will be i'll be stopping by uh uh one morning a week usually a random morning i will stop by on your porch okay i will knock on your door and we will have a brief uh face-to-face meeting okay um we can switch ledgers at that point if if yeah. we want although we don't have mm-hmm. to yeah. Um, uh, did you, did you want to check, talk about any of the other, uh, benefits of working here? Actually, you know, I feel like I should, I should ask you a question. Maybe. maybe. Okay. Yeah. Ask away. What do you um, got on your mind? Sure. So let's in your mind, imagine six months from now, you've been working for me for six months. Okay. And from your perspective, it is the best job you have ever had just imagine that okay okay yeah so describe that job and that work experience six months from now knowing that it's the best job you've ever had and knowing what you told me already sure yeah okay okay so it's it's a gorgeous tuesday morning 7 a.m i wake up and i hear the thud 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 of a knock at the door and it's you and you look great you look ravishing you have on a louis vuitton tux and you you you're perfectly manicured and you your hair has just been uh trimmed and you have on um this just lovely uh cologne okay so i walk out onto my porch and you whisper something into my ear and it says hey jonathan how how is you how's your ledgers look this week and i was like I thought you'd never asked, Mr. Appleby. And so I whisper into your ear all the work that I did this week. And it's about four to six hours of work. And you look at me and you have this twinkle in your eye. And Mm. um, I can tell you're getting giddy. And um, I look over and I see a camera crew. And you brought a camera crew. And um, you're like, well, I wanted this to be a fun experience because you are employee of the month. And I hired a camera crew to show everybody in the company at the next all hands, all the fantastic work you're doing. And I'm like, oh my God, I wish I would have known it's 7 a.m. I'm still in my jammies. I'm still in my dang jammies. And I'm so embarrassed, but I'm so excited anyway. And we take a picture and, you adopt me and everything is so great. And I, I'm just spitballing here. It sounds a lot like uh, you winning the publisher's clearinghouse. Well, do you, do you yeah. remember that when people would wear it? I mean, it might be a little bit before your time, but you know, people would in the publisher's clearinghouse to Ed McMahon would show up at your door with a big check. Big check. Yeah. Yeah. Big check. Huge check. Um, yeah. I guess it's probably pretty similar to that. That's what I was basing it off. Is that maybe a little off the mark in terms of, what the job might be or uh, we can we can we can work with it we can work with it maybe i don't know uh, it's never happened before but you know that's why i ask that's why i ask i mean how cool would it be if every two weeks when you gave me my check it was a big check you know direct that's deposits are are nice but if you should 
Oh, we definitely do handwritten checks. Okay, yeah. Yeah, definitely do handwritten checks. Maybe a big one or? Yeah, well, you would f- be filling out your check every week, sending it back with the ledgers. I would sign it, send That's it back. Right. So. That's right. That's right. That's right. I got to do that manually. Okay. Well, all right. Uh, well, thanks for talking to me today. Uh, I'll, sure. I'll uh, be in, in touch and uh, we'll see if we're going to work, make it to the next uh, uh, step on the line where um, yeah. we'll send you a bus ticket and you can uh, uh, take a bl- bus into, um, uh, into Gary where our office is and meet yeah. the rest of the gang. Excited, excited for that. And I appreciate your time today. And if you have any questions at all, uh, feel free. Uh, I gave you my address. Feel free to stop by any time, and I'll be happy to answer those questions. <laughs> okay. Good.